Hello, and welcome back to Jason's General Store. Today we are serving up some premium dishes of Grolnok the Omnivore. So, come get your sashimi, and let's eat. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, we're doing a best of one, Crimson Vow Draft, and we've opened up a Dormant Grove and a Grolnok. Awkward. Don't want to pass the Dormant Grove if I pull a girl knock, but uh, I want to take the girl knock. I think it's a pretty fun card to play. I like the self mill sub theme. Um, yeah, we're just going to roll with it. Whoa, okay. Well, we get past the Path of Peril and Edgar's Awakening. Uh, I guess OP took... Um, An uncommon. Path of Peril is obviously really good, but I'm going to follow up the Girl Knock here and just take the uh, Vile Spawn Spider. Alright. And not much here. We have a Binding Geist. We have a Cadet. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I think I'll take the Binding Geist. It works well with uh, the self mill strat. All right, we get past a Bramble Worm. Pretty easy pick, and goes really well with the uh, self mill strat as well. So, pretty easy pick here. I think uh, <clears throat> I'd also take the Millipede. Hopefully, it wheels, um, and I take the the Scorpion. But uh, Bramble Worm, pretty easy. All right. Do, do, do. I don't mind Gutter Skulker. Um, retrieve is also reasonable. Uh, but I think it's uh, Gutter Skulker over Retrieve, and hopefully we wheel um, <clears throat> the Retrieve or the Mulch. Feeling pretty good about the lane we've. Uh, We've picked here, so Fane of Death or, or sorry, Fear of Death or Wandering Spirit. We're pretty pretty, uh, well, we only have creatures at the moment, so I guess I'll take the Fear of Death as a pseudo removal. <clears throat> I think Dreadlight uh, Monstrosity plays well with Grolnok uh, because he exiles cards with uh, Croak Counters, so it allows the monstrosity to get through without damage. I mean, without being uh, blocked. Syncopate or another monstrosity. Um, I am happy with one syncopate, maybe. But it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't feel like we're a syncopate deck yet. However, just take it. It is a good uh, removal spell and exiles um, whatever you counter, so there's quite a bit of upside in this format where there's a lot of stuff in the grave. Okay, Cradle of Safety or another Dreadlight Monstrosity. I'll take the Cradle here. Works well with counters. All oh, right, uh, massive might or Selhof and tumor. Um, Selhof and tumor does work decently in this strategy, but I think I'll just take the might. We can probably see another Selhof and tumor somewhere down the line. This packs whatever. So we're looking to pick up some more twos. We're definitely a bit top heavy. I 
ending pack one, but uh, I'm happy where we're at. We'll, we wield the millipede, and I think the next pack is the retrieve mulch pack. So we got the mulch. Alrighty. <clears throat> pack three. All right, sorry, pack two, pick one. Curse Hospitality, pretty good card, but uh, you know, we're still pretty solidified in green and I like myself a Lantern Bear in this archetype and whenever I'm in blue really, so we'll take the Lantern Bear here. <clears throat> so just looking at our deck now, we have one, two, three cards that benefit from self mill. Uh, and pick up a Lantern Bear. Getting past an Olivia's Attendant. Interesting. Um, ooh, Whispering Wizard as well. It's pretty good. Whispering Wizards or Lantern Bear? Hmm. Uh, I think I'll just take the Lantern Bear. Diver Scab? There's a sweet card, pseudo removal. I also wouldn't mind the uh, spore crawler here, but I think I'm gonna pass up on the scab. <clears throat> okay, crawling infestation or a spore crawler. I think there is a chance that the crawling infestation wheels. But this is pretty good in our deck. There's always the concern of self milling, but. Hmm. I guess we just take the Crawling Infestation. Let's try it out. <clears throat> and we get past a Wolf Strike and a Binding Geist. I think here I'll take the Wolf Strike. We're light on removal. And now we pretty much just want creatures. Drog Skull. Ooh, nice. We get ourselves a Storm Tracer Drake. Which we don't have a lot of well, actually a fair amount of spells that that uh you know, we have Gutter Skulker, Lantern Bear, and Massive Might, all uh which all would draw us a card. Um happy with uh, at least one scorpion, so take that. <coughs> Pack is dead. <clears throat> I think I'll take the Entumor now. Maybe we play a second Mulch. Although we probably don't need it. We could play three Mulches, however. That makes more sense. We'll just play three Mulches. <clears throat> Yep, uh, deck's looking pretty sweet so far. Siphon Essence, yep. So, a little light in the three drop category. Oh, and we get past a Dormant Grove now. I'm a big fan of Dormant Grove. So I'm going to pick it up. I'd like the Lantern Bear, but I'll take the, the Dormant Grove here. Ooh. Mirror Hall Mimic is a sweet little card and plays even better in a self-milled deck because uh, getting to the flip side is really where you want to be. You just make like uh, a token every turn, so that's 
Solid. All right. Pack three, Bolt, a Wolf, a Millipede, or Alchemist Retrieval. I think I'll take the Retrieval here and hope to, I don't know, wheel the Millipede. And then we get past a, another Scorpion, which I'm happy with. So even though we don't have much in the three drop slot, I think like uh, overall we have some really good synergy, really good late game plan. And then on top of that, um, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's really it. I guess that's all I'm really trying to say. Spiked rib saw, good card. Um, I'm not sure we need it though. So I'm going to take the creature here. Nice. Uh, spirit is a decent three drop. We also have a hand, uh, hook hand mariner, which, uh, I'm a big fan of. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that. Okay, get a spore crawler, which we may or may not play. Minister Millipede. Another crawling infestation. I don't think we want two. They could get real dangerous. As far as self mill is concerned. Another millipede. I don't even know what I'm supposed to cut in this deck. I really like the millipedes. I, th I feel like they, they just get, uh, they compound. Like they just get better and better and better. Um, <clears throat> maybe I'll cut the sync to paint. Probably don't need the entomber. Ah, oh, it's just a lot of good cards in this deck. It's really hard to decide what to cut here. Um, anyway, let's let's look at the board. And we have a fair amount of creatures. Um, Diver Scab, yep, uh, solid playable. Like I said, the monstrosity plays out well with the Grohl Knock, but I might cut it anyway, just because we have such high, like, value cards. Um... Stitched Assistant in this deck is good, but we don't have too much that we actually want to uh, exploit, so I think we can cut one of those. We could probably cut a land. Massive Might Retrieval, Fear of Death, Siphon Essence, Calling of a Station. Um, maybe we cut a Scorpion. And what else? What else? What else? We have a grove. It's a non creature. Lantern bear. I guess we can cut one millipede. I don't want to because I just I played against this deck recently that like had four millipedes and it was pretty crazy. It's super strong. Honestly, I don't even. I, I don't think I'm gonna cut it. Skulker. Maybe we we, we generate a lot of value, so maybe we cut the uh, 
cut the uh, spore crawler. I'm going to bring the millipede back in. And are we an essence deck? Maybe we can just cut the essence as well. All right, well, I like this deck. Like I said, we got a reasonable early game plan. And then we just get so much value into the late game. So let's uh, let's run it. Go to game one. Actually, I'm gonna add our uh, special lands just cause skins equal wins, you know. All right. Oh, I don't have. Oh, yeah, they don't have special lands in this account. Whoopsie. Do, 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 do. All right. Um, the hand is fine. Not like uh, super keen to keep it, but uh, at least we have a our lands and our four and five drop. All right, so we just draw all our big stuff. Yep. Take another one. Sure, they drop down gluttonous guests. I guess we'll just bounce it back to their hand. Doesn't feel like the most efficient thing to do, but just for the sake of tempo, I think we do it. All right, so now hopefully we start generating some insects. Nice. And we'll play our Mariner. Diagraph, sure. Okay. Do we want to take the six or just double block? I think we just uh, take the six here. Make another insect. Nice. Millipede's a decent draw. Let's play our mirror hall mimic and oh yeah right we can copy something on their side of the battlefield um maybe we just copy the scavenger here now i'm happy to double block the socialite i'll trade with the scavenger and say go Here on, sure. Got our skulker, sweet. So <clears throat> let's play 
Our lantern bear. Oh, for some reason I thought that was disturbed. Oh, well, I guess uh, we could just hold up massive might and try to block the hair on if it comes in. Sure. Yep. So we'll block the heron and pump the bear. Initiating a trade unless they have a trick. Opponent plays Gluttonous Guest. We'll mill. Get our land. And. Hmm. I think I'll play the Millipede. Get a 5-5, five, five, another insect, and say go. Sure, OP plays Drog Skull and Diagraph. And I think now we can stop milling. Um, so let's play our Lantern Bear on our Millipede. We're swinging for six in the air. Opponent cycles a card and we're just going to keep smashing in the air. <clears throat> Purifier, sure. Like I said, stop milling. Um, swing for six. And let's play our Diagraph Scab, <laughs> uh, Diver Scab, and we'll exploit. And I guess. The purifier is what we'll choose. Doesn't really matter, they just play it again and then do the same thing, but. We got ourselves a nice little wall, a barricade that opponent can't attack through while we swing up in the air. Um, so, guess we wolf strike. No, let's swing for six. And. Hmm. Not sure if I should wolf strike now 
for because if I wolf trick on their upkeep and they have bleed dry, then we're screwed. But if they don't now, then we're in a good shape. So I think I think we just hit them now. Okay, opponent gains a life. That was a card. We hit their purifier, and we'll say go. Nice. Opponent plays a Heron. I got a lot of lifelink synergy here. So I think now we'll switch and play our Gutter Skulker. Although we can also play our Bramble Worm, which we're going to do. So we'll swing for six again. So, as you can hear from the uh, audio of me vaping and the little text box on the bottom right, we had accidentally muted ourselves here, so we're going to try to narrate what's going on. Right now, we're at a bit of a standstill. We've got uh, a full board each. Uh, currently, we are self-milling ourselves from the crawling, crawling infestation and making ourselves one once but i believe we stop milling here because we have milled too many cards we only have 10 cards left in our deck so we play the gutter gutter shortcut on our bramble worm hoping to make bramble worms every turn and swing in with our bra oh no 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 this is the card that uh, makes bramble worm unblockable and we swing in for seven uh, opponent has the ability to just gain life um so even though we're doing pretty well here um it's uh, a bit of a challenge because now that they have two herons and the traveling minister they're gaining at minimum four life and then plus one on whatever else is getting them life for the turn so they swing in the heron and i believe they gain in oh no they don't okay again we decide not to mill and draw into a land we uh throw in our bramble worm again Bring them down to two. And this is really the only way we can apply pressure at the moment. Um, because if we swung in with our millipede or anything else, they could just block with one of their life linkers and end up gaining a ton of life anyway. So <clears throat> pretty much we're, uh, we're just kind of stuck here, dirtling between what the opponent's doing and what we're doing, uh, applying damage. So they swing in with a bunch of life linkers. Obviously we're wanting to block. So we block one of their flyers and both their life linkers. And uh, on this trade, they end up gaining, I think like 16, 17 life. So again, uh, well, then they play an Adamant Will, taking out our Hook Hand Mariner, and again, gain like, what is it, 19 life here. So, even though we've uh, put up a solid effort, we just don't really have an opportunity to, to swing for lethal. Swing in another 7. We're really just contemplating uh, what to do. We're confused, unsure. They have uh, Death Toucher, Life Linker, Wall. So uh, really there's no way for us to apply pressure. 
I guess we could have held back our bramble worm maybe and just tried to kill off their their hair on and not not give them the ability to swing in. But oh, at the same time, our millipede was was serving that that uh, service, so we were just kind of in a bad place here. It was a fun matchup, though I have to say, really enjoyed this one, even though we ended up uh, kind of getting screwed by the uh, the life gain here. We we still had a good a good game. So we now put the uh, Ghastly Mimicry on the Bramble Worm, and this gives us a Bramble Worm every turn. Put the Fear of Death on their Harvester, but accidentally mill ourselves, which gives us a five turn clock. But we keep applying the pressure. And same thing, opponent swings in, gains four life, plus whatever they gain from the Heron. And we come back just now when we unmute. So. Oh, I was muted there for a second. Um, so this is going interestingly. We put the ghastly mimic on the the bramble worm. It's going to be creating us more bramble worms every turn, but we have a five turn clock. So I don't know if we can actually get through. Play our lantern bear. Swing in for seven. Say go. All right, again, opponents gaining a bunch of life. Oh my God. This is crazy. I wish we had a way to get rid of this hair on. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. All right, swing for seven. And say go. Guess we should have played the binding guys there. Opponent gains two again. So let's play our Binding Geist. And... Let's 
swing for seven. Let's see. Yeah, I think just seven and then next turn or the turn after we try to alpha strike. Blood fountain. Uh oh. <laughs> Man, this I've never had a game like this before where the opponent just gains this much life. This is crazy. The Heron plus the Minister is just pretty insane. What can they bring back? Like another Heron, I guess, would be good. And a farmer? Okay, so they bring the hair on and the farmer. Gain four. <clears throat> so we alpha strike. Sure. Three. They can block three, six. Nine. So three, eight, eleven, uh, fifteen or fourteen, sixteen, twenty. Alright, let's Alpha Strike. See what happens. Obviously they're forced to block. Currently they have no life gain. We put through 7, 14, 20, 21. So 20, 7, 14, 20. And more actually on top of that because trample damage. I actually think we may have pulled, pulled this one together Just based on the fact that they can't. Okay, so that's 7, 14. 7, 14, 12. Seven, fourteen, twelve. Um, seven, fourteen, sixteen. Yeah, 18, they're, I think, yeah, they're just dead. Alrighty. Well, we did it. Against all odds. <laughs> wow, that crawling of station is dangerous, though. Just uh, being able to self mill yourself is a real possibility. We came really close there. Anyway, we pulled it out, got the win. Let's move on to game two.
All right, good hand. We'll lead with a lantern bear. Nice, they get a scorpion. We're gonna follow up with a scorpion. And we'll swing, swing for one. Okay, opponent passes turn. We'll swing for one again. And they go. Dormant Grove. Um, I think I'll just bounce that. And we'll play Grolnok. Okay, opponent plays Celebrants. And we'll play our millipede here, I guess. We got a counter. Oh, but girl knock trigger as well. Solid. <clears throat> Opponent plays Dormant Grove. guess we play Mariner now. Um, it's Mariner or Crawling Infestation. I guess let's just take advantage of the Grohl Knock Trigger and play our uh, Mariner here. Um, we'll swing for one. I guess we can swing for the Millipede as well. If the opponent wants to block with the scorpion, I'm happy to, to make that trade, but they block with celebrants, so we pump. Hope they don't have a response. They have their own massive might, sure. I guess I should start holding up the lantern bearer as a blocker. Spore crawler. And we have six, seven lands. So we can play both the Mirror Hall Mimic and the Calling Infestation. Point says go. Um, I think I'll play Crawling Infestation and the Dormant Grove here. Put a counter on our Crawl Knock. Hopefully dodge a, a braid. Full strike, sure. We say go.
Opponent plays Reckless Impulse and then Child of the Pack. Child of the Pack is pretty good. Opponent swings with Spore Crawler. Okay. We'll block with our Lantern Bear. And now... I think we play our Millipede here. Better sooner than later, I, I suppose. So we make a 9-9. Nine, nine. And why don't we... Bind the Toxic Scorpion. Make us also 5-5. Five, five. And... Say go. I don't think we're going to mill anymore. But we'll play our Lantern Bear on our Millipede. And... Give everything Vigilance. Swing for 10. <coughs> And then while we're at it, let's make a copy of the Rip Hook Raider. And I believe that's gotta be game. Okay, opponent gains. Well, we still have lethal. And that's going to be the game. Opponent had a good deck. Or it just came out a little hotter. Okay, let's move to game three. Bum ba da dum bum. Alrighty, game three. With our Grolnock self mill deck. Hand is fine. We'll keep it. Lead with the Storm Chaser Drake. Follow up with a Crawling Infestation. Opponent has. A counterspell potentially. Syncopate. Yep. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough, OP. I think I'll actually lead with the uh, Binding Geist here. Wandering Mind. Okay. Opponent gets washed away. Um. But. Yeah, I think I'll just play the Binding Geist. They swing for two, we swing for three. And then uh, if it dies, I'll just put uh, minus two on the Wandering Mind. All right, opponent potentially has a, another counter spell. Well, I guess Wash Away for its cleave cost is a counter spell, so.
Not gonna play into that counter. That would just be silly. We might try to bounce their, I don't know, whatever creature they play. I mean, if they don't want to do anything and just keep let us drawing cards, I'm happy with that. Sure. So I think we try to bait the counter now. <laughs> they could just play Kessick again. Uh, I suppose I'm happy to have my Lantern Bear countered, so let's try that. Counter me up, baby. <laughs> Alright, we'll say go. You gotta do something OP, you can't just hold counters for the whole game. Sure. Yep. Um, do we want to cradle the safety anything here? No, I don't think so. Okay. Um, I think I'll play the infestation. And do we want to offer the trade? I suppose so. Sure. And let's bind in guys the cruel witness. <sighs> Hope he plays a gutter skulker. blocks why not happy we did um i guess we'll just try the girl knock here yeah all right no attacks so now we can play anything that crawling infestation wheels or uh, mills this, these two cards play really really well together All right, Gutter Skulker swings in for three. Let's mill, we mill a millipede, which we can play. Uh, but we won't. We'll swing in for three. All right. Yeah. Uh, massive Might, they're gonna respond with a counter and then we'll play Cradle of Safety.
Yep, they counter that. Vampire Vengeance triggers. I think we make another bug. And Grolnok lives to tell another story, another day. <laughs> All right. So I want to draw land. Um, sure. Yeah, what I'd like to do is play Vile Spawn Spider and then I think we'll decline. We get our land. So. Actually, maybe we just play Lantern Bear. And then Vile Spawn Spider. Swing in for five. I really don't want to be self milling anymore, actually. Hopefully he he can't kill our roll knock. That would be unfortunate. But I guess then we could just make like repeatable vile spawn spiders. Cause if he kills the roll knock, we get back the Oh no, we still have the mimic. Okay. Screaming swarm, yep. Yeah. So let's play a land. How many creatures do we have in the battlefield? Oh, we have none. Um, right. Well, yeah, I think we want to stop milling. So I'm just going to sack this. And we'll play a scorpion. Swing for one. Death touch. Five, six, seven, eight. We can play ha Hand Hook and Dormant Grove next turn. Hand Hook, Hook Hand. Ooh, they sell. They mill a uh, their own Mirror Hall mimic. Not bad. Maybe that's what we want to play next turn. Yep. So, hook hand mariner. And then Dormant Grove. I think we put a counter on Rolnock. Swinging with our bugs doesn't make a lot of sense. Mm. Yep, we'll just say go. 
So they make another Screaming Swarm. But they can't swing in. They can swing in with the Gutter Skulker if they want. Yeah, I think we I think we misplayed a bit. I shouldn't have played the Val Spawn Spider when I did. I think that was a mistake. Um self mill stuff is kicking our butt. Not, I'm really not. I'm really unsure how to play this. <laughs> There's too much uh, thing, too many things going on with our deck here. So let's not self mill, and we'll play Mirror Hall Mimic. Looks like they might have a counter spell. Which we're happy to have countered. We're happy to have Mirror Hall Mimic countered. Yeah, okay. And I'm gonna try to play this because. I'd rather have this countered than the Gutter Skulker. So if they have a Syncopate, sort of fine. <coughs> we say go. I don't think we won this one. Bramble Worm would be a good pickup here. Okay. I mean, if they make a self mill, it's pretty, pretty good for us. Oh, maybe not three self mills. Though. Ooh, but we get Lantern Bear. That's solid. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh my god. That was funny. All right, so <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what, what we did wrong there. <laughs> I'm not even mad because that was hilarious. I don't know how we self milled so many cards there. Oh, right. Nice. All right, well, GG's. That was a funny one. <laughs> uh, all right, <laughs> let's go to game four.
Alright, alright, game four. Hand is... Eh... Not great. Hmm. I mean, I suppose it could be worse. We just need to draw a land. No, I'm gonna mulligan. Sure, I'll keep this. And ditch cradle. All right, say go. Ideally, we don't want to mulch next turn. But I guess we will try to get some lands. Nice. Three lands, not bad. We'll discard a lantern bear. Okay, let's play a lantern bear now. We've learned from the Grohl knock that he doesn't really need to swing. Sure, we need to get rid of a card. We'll get rid of a forest. Okay, take one. And I'm going to lead with the ha the hook hand, Mariner. And I'll just leave the lantern bearer up to block, I guess. And uh, I think we'll follow up with a... Grill knock. I mean, I want to get the uh, Dormant Grove online, but I think we can play the Grill knock. We have a couple options. We can play the Grill knock, or we play the Dormant Gr Dorman Grove. Start getting counters online. <clears throat> or we play the Lantern Bear and start swinging in for five. I guess... I guess I like the Lantern Bear here. The opponent might have removal. But... I think it's okay. Swing for six. This gives them a little bit of a clock as well. If they don't have an answer, then we're just going to keep pounding. Sure, opponent plays Bloodsore and Skyre. Swing for three. I think I'll just bounce the, the Squire. And swing for six. And opponent says GG. All right, easy fourth game and we'll move on to game five alrighty actually brief intermission sand is fine Lead with a lantern bear. Okay. <clears throat> Swing for one. Oh, 
opponent swings for two. Plays a kindly ancestor. Um, I think we'll just play our Binding Geist first before a Vile Spawn Spider. And actually hold up the Lantern Bear as a blocker. <clears throat> Alright. I think this is fine, like so. Piercing light, okay. Now we can play our Vile Spawn Spider and we'll play Geist on the Ancestor. Ooh, nice. Uh, yeah, block the Kinley Ancestor. Take three. And let's play a Millipede here. Nice. The OP could swing for three. Um... I'm going to block the Ancestor and just take six. I was just worried they might have removal for the Millipede, which wouldn't be ideal. Um, so now play a land. Let's play the Lantern Bear on the Millipede. And I think we're going to actually hold of the Cradle of Safety. No attacks for now. Sure. All right, we'll block the Quartermaster. Take four. Opponent plays a bolt, potentially. Lantern flare. Uh, do they number of creatures you control? So it's dealing three. Okay. <clears throat> Gain five. Um, mm, 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 mm. Do we want to... No, I think we'll just play Dormant Grove here. Move to combat, put a counter, and we'll hold up Cradle of Safety. So opponent swings both. Oh, okay. Block like such. And play our cradle. All right. Let's play our froggy. And swing both. <laughs> and opponent concedes, sure. <laughs> People are 
pretty terrified of the old uh, sashimi. Sashimi froggy. We make the uh, finest sashimi in town, some might say. It's made from frog, not fish. Game six, going against a bronze player. And is fine, not great, but I'm gonna keep it. Get ourselves a mulch, which we don't need. Okay, opponent hits us with a vampire kiss. Mwah. Good outcome for us. We want to keep the game stalled in the beginning here so we can get out our hook hand banner. Okay, I think opponent is looting with a blood token. Which is interesting. Odd start to a game. What? They loot their scavenger? What is going on here? What is going on here, OP? Okay, they loot another blood token, they loot Edgar's Awakening. Or they ditch the Ed Edgar's Awakening, bringing back their scavenger. Okay, sure. Very strange, very, very strange. Let's play our Mariner. And OP plays their scavenger. No, they play bleed dry, okay. So let's play our Vile Spawn Spider and say go. I just so happen to have two lands that I want to exile. Thank you, sir. Gift of Fangs, sure. Doesn't kill our creature, but it's fine. Scorpion or Millipede? Uh, I guess I'll play my Scorpion for now. And swing for zero. <clears throat> I don't want to play the Millipede out just yet because We just don't have anything in the grave. So it's like potentially coming out for two. Yep. Okay. Opponent exiles my dormant grove. So let's swing for one and offer the trade here. And do, 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 do. I guess I'll just hit the millipede. Oh, that's a good one. I kind of wanted to try this on the millipede. But we could mill our whole deck pretty easily. So that's probably not a good situation. All right. Opponent is thinking. Sure. My turn. Let's hit the mulch. Try to hit. Nope. I was hoping that we could hit a lantern bear, but we didn't. 
Um, how do we feel about getting a bunch of scorpions? Oh, I guess we can just copy. Okay, what does the disturb side do? Hmm. The problem is if we copy one of their creatures and it dies, then. That's not a great situation. Um, all right, I guess we just pass. <laughs> Fell stinger, okay. I really want to hit one of our lantern bears. I kind of don't mind the idea of just copying the scorpion over and over, but I guess if they kill the scorpion, that's not great. Us drawing all lands is also not great. Uh, Alright, I guess we'll just play it on the... Scorpion. No. Alright, let's wait and hope they don't have some way to exile. It from the graveyard. Desperate farmer, sure. Headless rider. Yep. So we have eight, nine, ten. We've seen ten lands. We have 15 cards left. Sure, you can have your Desperate Farmer. Nice. Just what we needed. Bramble Worm. Boom. Comes in hot. Let's just offer the trade. No, we'll wait. So next turn, we just play Mirror Hall Mimic on our Bramble Worm. Start making tons of Bramble Worms. Sure, blood crazy socialite. Yep. Our turn. We'll play the ghastly mimicry on the bramble worm. Play a land and say go. It's all you, OP. Sure. So they swing the social light. Bloodsworn Squire, okay. Our turn. Make a Bramble Worm. Gain five. Play a land. 
say go. Opponent goes for the Alpha Strike. Sure. So let's block their two Death Touchers, I guess. And their Headless Rider. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Take some damage, but now we can get through on the floor. And on our upkeep, we're gonna gain five. Sure, bat. Nice, they get back their fell stinger. Play another bat. Wow, okay. That's annoying. another five and we get a millipede which we really don't want so I guess we just swing for seven here no we'll hold it up so there you go All right, they hit our Vile Spawn Spider, the Diagraph. Bell Stinger. I might actually take a millipede out of the deck. I don't know. It's feeling. Oh, OP forgot. Perfect. A lot of people do that, actually. All right, make another worm. Draw another millipede. Sure. I guess we'll just wait again. I mean, yeah, I'll sack one of my millipedes. <laughs> or my bramble worms, sure. That's for farmer, okay. I don't really mind taking damage because we're just gaining five life every turn. So I'm going to block the double block the socialite. Okay, we'll just take the five, sure. Just gaining it back anyway. Nice. And we have our lantern bear. Which we want to die. All right, well, we lost our Bramble Worm Maker.
I guess our optimal draw is going to be perfect. That's what we want. Yep, block. Gutter Skulker is also something that we want. Anyway, to make him fly. Swing in for eight. And we'll play our Gutter, skul gutter Skulker. And say go. Sure, I get recluse. I know, I know, I know what you're gonna say. How could you mute yourself twice in one game? And honestly, I have no idea. It was <laughs> kind of a silly mistake and I've been more aware of it recently. Uh, I try to mute myself because the vaping sound is, uh, you know, just kind of annoying, a nuisance, has nothing to do with the game. And it's really just a dirty, bad habit that I have. Um, so I try to mute myself whenever I vape, but sometimes I forget to hit the mic, even though it's glowing red and right in front of my face. I should just be able to realize that uh, I need to mute myself, but I'm not realizing, at least in this game. So sorry about that. Um, again, we're going to narrate ourselves. And as you can see, the opponent Alpha strikes us, swings in the entire board at our Bramble Worms. But we're just making bramble worms every every turn because we uh, or we had been making bramble worms every turn because we had the uh, the spell that uh, makes one on upkeep. So we got a wall of bramble worms, gained a bunch of life. We got what 25, 28 damage on board, but we just swing in the eight. Um, we say go. No, nope. we contemplate. Oh, counting something here. Don't really know what I was thinking, but I was definitely thinking something, no doubt about it. Um, we're not playing out our millipedes because uh, as this deck has uh, shown us several times uh, throughout the matchups, um, we can mill ourselves really easily. And I think we're already getting low on cards, so we're, 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 we're not, but, uh, but we're counting the board, seeing what kind of pressure they can apply and if they can kill us next turn, I believe. So we play a fear of death on their blood squire so they can't apply much pressure on us and go uh, indestructible. We're still in a good, pretty good position here even though we're, uh, we're down on life. Um, just having the two uh, bramble worms is, is significant and they swing in with their socialite, their scavenger. Actually, they just alpha strike on us uh, altogether. We lose one from the odious witch. And we set up some blockers. We block their lifelinker, their odious witch. And, oh, nope, we realize that we need to double block the socialite if, uh, if we want to block. But looks like we're opting out of it here. And again, I think we're just counting to ourselves, trying to figure out if we can swing back next turn for lethal. Uh, we have the Massive Might in our hand, so that gives us a pretty big advantage uh, against the... Uh, or not advantage, but it gives us... puts us in a good position, um, just having that extra two damage going into the next turn. So we're just counting it out, swinging things around. Oh, no, we actually used the Massive Might on our Gutter Skulker here to save him from the Life Linker. So they swing in, we go to one. They're at 18. And with the retrieval, we have lethal. Lucky draw, for sure. So we toss back their blood squire and swing in for lethal. Uh, so I just happened to unmute here, or sorry. Uh, yeah, I just so happened to unmute here, so we're gonna go back to the original audio in the game. And uh, again, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Oh, shit.
shoot, I had it muted again. <laughs> uh, I don't know where I muted, um, but uh, it's just saying it was a close one again, and this deck seems to play on the edge a lot. But I gotta stop muting my mic when I'm vaping. I guess I just vape and leave the mic open, but I feel like it's annoying. Anyway, let's go on to game seven. Grohl not game seven. Going against a gold player, which wouldn't be easy to get to, um, seeing as we just reset, I think today, so he's been playing. But we have a good first hand, we'll lead with the Toxic Scorpion here, hope to draw a land. Right, we got our land, play our scorpion. Nice patchwork crawler. Um, say you go. War crawler, sure. I'm just gonna get rid of this pack patchwork crawler. I don't know. It's feeling threatening. Maybe it's not. But let's play our hand hook hand mariner now. And say go. I guess we could have offered the trade there for the scorpion, but who knows? They could have some big guys, so probably better just to wait. Opponent plays a Cobbled Lancer and their own Scorpion. Just take the three. Um, I'm going to play the Storm Chaser Drake here and then follow up with Dormagrove next turn and I'll start pumping the Storm Chaser Drake so I can get damage in the air. Mm -mm -mm. And actually, I think it draws us a card as well because it's targeted. That's that's pretty cool. Never seen that before. Wolf strike. Yep. Fair enough. I think I'll offer the trade for the scorpion here. Although if we just take six, hmm. No, let's kill the Lancer, I guess. We don't want to be taking too much damage. And I think I'll play the Millipede next turn, actually, if I get a land. Nice, mischievous cat based. And we follow up with our millipede. Only gets two counters. Another wolf strike, possibly. Or are they just going to exile their cobble here? Uh, 
We're looking at the cobble quite a bit, so. Not sure what they're thinking. Oh, they got their own millipede, nice. All right, they get one counter. Um, let's just make our millipede stronger than theirs. Pack leader, nice. And they're gonna exile their Lancer, yep. Alright, we got a land for our Bramble Worm. And I'm gonna put a counter on Storm Chaser. What is it, just... Whenever Storm Chaser Drake becomes the target of a spell you control, draw a card. I guess those aren't supposed to work together. <clears throat> All right, we'll play our Entomber. Put a counter on our Storm Chaser Drake. Swing for four. Opponent's deep in contemplation. Second guessing all their choices in drafts, not really sure why they're even playing the game. They don't know. I don't know. Nobody knows. But one thing I do know is that their their deck is not ours. Sure. So let's block the cat geist here. We'll block the pack leader and the millipede. Or we'll go Millipede pack leader. All right, let's try that. I imagine they have some sort of pump spell. Wolf strike, sure. So we take some damage. And we'll exile our Bramble Worm to gain five. And that should be game. Alrighty. Another game down the drain. And I think we're moving on to game eight. I don't know, we've just been blasting through them, so I'm not even sure which one we're on anymore. Oh yeah, okay, game eight. Hand is fine. Opponent mulligans. Okay, opponent mulligans to six. Play the land, play the land. And play our binding geist. They may hit it. Looks like they might have a flame blast bolt. And I think Geist is a pretty good target for Bolt, yeah. So now we need a land. Nice. Cemetery Illusionist. We get our land, and we'll play Hookhand Mariner. Opponent swings for two. And please, ooh. Maniform Hellkite, that's a pretty good target for our Wolf Strike. And we'll swing for four. Opponent swings two. I'm going to play the Mimic. 
into a potential counter spell, it looks like. Or a burn spell. Maybe Rending Flame. Syncopate, nice. That's pretty good. But we're gonna swing in for four. They're gonna swing back for five. Or not. They get a land. Flip their Berserker. And they can like just play anything off the top, I guess. Cruel Witness. All right, let's swing for four. Nice, okay. Not bad, uh, I'll play a mil our millipede. Get a few counters. Now they're looking pretty threatening over there, I'm not gonna lie. But you can follow up with maybe Dormant Grove and Scorpion if we draw a land. Pyre spawn. Nice. Okay, so let's play a scorpion and a spawn. Huh, we're in a bad position here. This is doing a lot of work for them, much more than I thought it would. What did we end up wolf striking? Oh yeah, the mana form. They have a they have a solid deck. Yep. Oh, we have reach. I guess we'll just block the cemetery illusionist. And do we have lethal here? Not quite. We could take the risk and try to threaten lethal. Let's see. No, they're gonna block if we swing. So let's just scab. Yeah, we'll scab. Sacrifice the scorpion. Send the spire pawn. Spire pyre pyre spawn back to their deck, I guess. And we'll swing for five. Berserker can't block. So they'll swing for five in the air. Sure. We'll block the two. And then they play their pyre spawn. Yep. So. We play Dormant Grove. Put a counter on Diver Scab. And. So if we swing, 
and they block Oh, they can only block two, meaning they block block. So if they block the millipede with the pyre spawn, then we use massive might. I think we win no matter what here. Right, and then massive might on the scab. And that's GG. Alrighty, we did it. We got the 7-1 uh, there. Solid, solid, solid. Another day, another dollar. Well, um, if you watch this and you like what you saw, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Um, anything's welcome, constructive co criticism, feedback, deck building advice, whatever you got. Uh, but uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed and uh, stay tuned for another one. Thanks. Bye.